terms of being great teammate, great team, everybody feeling good about it, each other, and just winning. He scored 50 of their 105 points, Say by that the again. way. Say that he again. He scored 50 <laughs> of his team's 105 points. That boy good. at the podium now. He dunked one, and it looked like he was just playing Nerf ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nerf hoop. Uh, oh, yes, wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I got to put the show on. Jake Baskey, my brother, Coach Saint, that I sit down with. Oh, okay. So, so, uh, Coach Saint, Coach Saint, my brother, Jim Paskey, wasn't able to be here, but we represent them. CA, I love you, you know I love you. Uh, and Pat, Coach Saint, you know I love you too. Questions? Sean, over on the right. Giannis, um, when you first started playing basketball, did you ever think a moment like this would happen? <sighs> Man. Uh, no, man. No, 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 no. I started, I started playing basketball just to, you know, help, help my family, you know, um, try to get them out of the struggle, you know, the challenges we were facing when we were kids. Uh, but, man, I never thought, you know, I'm going to be 26 years old, you know, uh, with my team, playing the NBA Finals, just playing. And, like, I was just happy just being a part, like, you know, not even winning, just being a part of this, of this journey, you know, and, um, but I never thought ever when I'll be 26, you know, I'll be sitting in this chair with this right here and this right here. Man, it's been, it's been, uh, we've come a long way. Candace, over here. Hey, Giannis, how are you? When thinking about the uh, diaspora of Africa and you think about the country that your, your parents came from and um, what do you think about do you know what you represent to the continent and what do you think this title, those two trophies mean to uh, the continent? Mm -hmm. I know, obviously I represent, you know, uh, my country, my both countries, Nigeria and Greece. Um, a lot of kids from there, um, not just from Nigeria, from the whole, whole Africa, whole Europe, you know, I know that I'm a role model, but uh, like this should be should make every every person, every kid, every, anybody around the world to like believe in their dreams, you know. And no matter like what, whatever you feel, when you feel down, when things don't look like it's gonna happen for you, or you might not make it in your career. It might be basketball, it might be anything. Just believe on what you're doing. Keep working, you know. Don't let nobody tell you what you can be, what you cannot do. You know. People told me I can't make free throws. I made my free throws tonight. And I'm a freaking champion. I made them and I'm supposed to make them. You know, but I'm joking. Um, actually, I'm not, but uh, yeah, just believe, man. Just I hope, I hope, th I hope I give people around the world, from Africa, from Europe, give them hope, you know, that it can be done. It can be done. Eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, if I came to the league, I didn't know where my next move will come from. You know, my mom was selling stuff in the street. You, you, like, and now I'm here sitting at the top of the top. You know, and, I, and, and I'm extremely blessed. And that's why I cannot, I can never get, I'm extremely blessed. If I, if I never have a chance to sit on this table ever again, I'm fine with it. You know, I'm, I'm fine with it. But like, I hope this can give everybody around the world hope and allow them to believe in their dreams. Vince, in the middle. Hey, Giannis, um, your journey as a pro. Thank you, Jesus. Special time today. Well, uh, you want to have another intimate moment with your... Yeah. Your, <laughs> um, your journey as a pro, you, you play point guard, you came off the bench, you know, you've developed to this point. What does all this mean, basically, <laughs> from the moment that you got to the NBA? <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a long journey, man. I've, I've, I've done it all, man. I've done, you know, I did anything I could just to, you know, be on the court, just to be in this position. You know, I've, I've, I've not played. I've, I've uh, come off the bench. I've, uh, when I was 18, I started in the, the team. I've uh, 
went to the front office and tell them to send me to the G League. I want to do like I've done. I've, um, I've uh, played point guard. I've only defended slash from the corners and everything, you know. And uh, my fourth year, I was able to lead as a ball hand. Like I've done it all. And uh, tonight it was just a. Uh, that's what I had to do tonight. You know, I had to do a little bit of everything. I had to defend. I had to rebound. I had to block. I had to do a little bit of everything. But people that helped me throughout this journey, man. John Hammond, that drafted me and believed in me and believed in my family, brought my family over here, made me feel comfortable, made me feel like I, I was his son. You know, when I was uh, homesick and I was uh, alone in the hotel. Larry Drew, credit to Larry Drew, Jason Kidd that came to the team and pushed me, told me not, do not shoot, but okay. You know, I, I develop other parts in my game, you know, get into the rim, shoot the mid race shot, you know, just be dumb and get to the free throw line. And Coach Bud, you know, Coach Bud believed in me, told me that in order for me to win, in order for me to be great, I have to trust my teammates. You know, I have to trust my team, I have to make the right pass. You know, I cannot be stubborn, you know, and I got to trust the process. You know, and uh, it was a, a three-year process, but we, we, we got it done. I want to thank all of these guys, and as I said, I've done it all on the court, I've done it all off the court, and I'm keep, I'm keep going, I can't stop. I can't stop, that's like my personality, I'm not stopping. I just have a quick follow-up. Yes. When you resigned your contract, your extension, I'm sure it was with this in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the emotion that, that you experience, not only as a team, but then that you share with your fan base, with your community. And, you know, Kristen and, and, and Brendan, we, we've worked with Steve Smith, Chris Weber, you know, we got Jalen Rose over there on ESPN. I mean, so all those guys from Detroit grew up as young men, you know, watching and, and feeling all celebrations. So, Giannis has no idea, and the Bucks have no idea of the type of young men and women that they've just influenced and sharing in this victory with him. The champagne shower. <laughs> Let it be known. I am on a 24-hour champagne diet. <laughs> uh, yes, Come on, Giannis. Do your like thing. Do your right? thing. Really? Wow, I, I still I still get a little teary and emotion whenever I see like like celebrations because I know I know that feeling. Do you feel that way too, Brendan? You get happy for the champion. Yes, you yes. Know, you know what you felt. You know what you went through. Yeah. When you see somebody else get to experience it, you get happy for other champions. Yeah. You, yeah. You're like, man, I remember that moment. I'm so I'm so happy for Giannis. So I'm so happy for a guy like a Jeff Teague that gets yeah. to experience that. PJ Tucker. So many guys that help this team that aren't the biggest names, whether we're talking about Bobby Portis, uh, DiVincenzo, who got hurt, but he was a big part of helping get this yeah. team to the playoffs. You just get happy to see all those guys have that champagne diet, put those goggles on and be <laughs> champions and do that dance. Do your dance, John. We're going to call that the Greek, the Greek two-step. <laughs> Yes, he did, sir. though, Brendan, become the first international player to be crowned Finals MVP since Dirk back Hello. in 2011. What is it like to play alongside a once-in-a-franchise player like him? When you play again, when you play with somebody that is that unique, you sometimes you take it for granted, but then there's times when you just watch and you're just like, wow, <laughs> it's incredible what this guy does. In, in 2011, we would sometimes just watch Dirk and be like, Man, this dude's seven feet tall, <laughs> shooting, shooting one leg fadeaways now. Now, I know one leg fadeaways seem like pretty routine now, but in right. 2011, he was the only guy doing it. And when you see somebody seven feet doing it, it's amazing. And it's the same thing with Giannis. When you see somebody 6'11", seven feet tall, handling the ball in transition, Euro stepping all around the court, getting assists, but then at the same time making timely blocks and shutting down the basket, making plays above the rim, you're like, what are we really watching here? The guy's nicknamed the Greek Freak, and for a good reason, because yeah. on the court, he's freakish. Hey. hey, maybe for the dance moves, too. Hey! Hey, hey Ni Nigerian-born, moved to Greece. He and his brothers hustling on the streets. You know, the way that they came up, just hard grinding. You know, his, his, his story is so beautiful. Watching the NBA from afar, wanting to be a champion, talking about these moments and, and, three then, of them are. and then living it i mean as you say all three of them as kids 
I mean, it, it, it is such a beautiful, incredible, international, inspirational story that has really never happened. I mean, it, it, it's 